Hi guys and welcome back to Trash Arts News where we bring you the latest in all things trash art. Here at Trash Arts we know you love extra content so today we'll be looking at some interviews with some of the stars of the drug tours. Hi there, my name's Ryan Carter and uh, I played Ryan. Uh, I was the presenter and producer um, during drug tours. Hello there, my name's Ross Doney and I play Billy, the ex-ecstasy dealer in the drug tours. Hi, my name's Sam Mason Bell. I was uh, the director of the drug tours and I also played Trent. Drug tours came, in all honesty, from uh, when I met up with, with you know, in the past, my uh, drug dealer and he basically started moaning about all the other drug dealers. And it kind of got me really intrigued and I was like, well, that's a good idea for a film. That you could just have a mockumentary about visiting different drug dealers and knowing that there's this almost weird community within it. So I remember I ran home and I spoke to um, Ryan Carter and Jackson Batchelor about the concept and they were excited by it and like, we had just shot three features over that summer in 2012. We were really trying to push how much more we could do. So we kind of thought, somehow, let's do that in two months' time. So what uh, initially uh, brought my interest to this, firstly, was just the, the fun aspect of being able to be a part of a project that's just this ambitious. But mainly it's two things. Uh, one, the way it was shot, uh, the, the fact that it was shot via two cameras. Uh, but like simultaneously, constantly rolling all the time. Uh, and then the uh, the other uh, the other part of the idea, which was to have like I think it's a 90 minute film, but all one shot, one take. You know, there's no cuts, there's no edits, there's it's just completely fully flowing. My experience during drug tours was actually a bit of a random one, um, where the project kind of took shape and stuff, and it was quite quick. Um, there wasn't a lot of time to prepare and I was doing a lot of full-time work at the same time. Um, so I started my full-time work, I think it was in the July of 2012. We shot in the November. Um, so previous to that, I'd been involved in a few features up to that point where, um, you know, there wasn't so much time constraint. So to get prepared and into character, I literally finished work and because it was one continuous shot, I went home and uh, got my car and then I was straight out. And with the drug tours, what had to happen was, I played the first drug dealer. So when the camera came to me, and once I'd left, I had to run to each house and prepare the actors or let them into the property, give them an idea of what's gonna happen, whilst waiting for the next text to be told, they're at this point, they're at that point. That's why the driver is always looking at his phone. One of the funniest things about filming that is, as an actor, looking back on it, like looking at myself, I continuously have a forward, which was like, oh yeah, you know, I can't remember exactly what it was, but if you watch it, you see me continuously say the same thing over and over again. But what that ended up doing in post was show this kind of frustration of this character who kind of lost control of the whole situation because of the events that then kind of transpired throughout the, the course of the film. I get to play this very, very erratic and volatile character. Um, uh, so it was an interesting, from an actor's point of view, to be able to stretch my legs that way and go just up and down crazy town, you know? Uh, um, and explore and explore our characters just for a very short amount of time, but just to get to explore them as fully as I could. But one of the things with drug tours is that we discussed earlier on that because it's a one take with two cameras, they had to stay in character the whole time. We even said if you get if you get arrested, you stay in character, you keep those cameras rolling until they tell you to stop filming. And um, we had a few instances like that with people talking to, to random people in the street and people having to stay within character and pretend they're making this documentary about drugs. And um, it was really bizarre and interesting. The the moment when you get this like text for like the phone call um, behind the scenes, uh, um, where you obviously you're setting up, you're in the you're in the flat, you're waiting for the crew to obviously come, uh, and you get that text, and you've got to get in character. You have to. It's a very nerve wracking feeling almost. You're like, what do you? you know? It's very 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 surreal. One of my favourite bits in it was when we got to uh, the second to last house. I can't remember exactly what the, the drug was, but um, 
I ended up being given a, a real tin of Fosters. And because it was, like, like I say, one continuous shot, the, um, the scene kind of amalgamated. Me and Jackson had a bit of a confrontation and then it led to outside. But I think it was Tom who was following me. He's obviously got one of the cameras and I actually got back into the car with the drink. And um, where Sam had sort of prepped us beforehand, said that you have to remain in character no matter what, I had to be in character. So I've got this tin um, and I'm driving around. Luckily enough, it was only around the corner. Um, so yeah, we go to the next bit and I just, afterwards, it kind of dawned on me that actually, crap, that probably shouldn't have done that. But where you're so immersed in um, the character and stuff, you just sort of, you lose complete track of time and also the concept of what you're doing. As far as if I would do a sequel, um, I don't know, maybe, possibly if it made sense. I don't know if it makes sense for Billy to come back. I don't know if, why the crew would want to see Billy ever again after what they experienced, as he is like a, a beginning uh, of the badness in that night. It, like almost like a warning where he should have stopped then and when they knew that this is only going to get worse and it did uh, so I'm not sure why they would want to go back to a guy like him because you don't know where he will be he's so volatile and one night you had no idea what he was going to do and now I don't know how long the time jump would be between between films but uh, I don't know why you would ever want him back but if uh, I, I, in regards to doing it I, I'd be more than up for it as long as it made sense, as long as it was organic and it worked and it and it, it wasn't just the sake to have a volatile character. But um, it was a hell of a blast, a hell of a challenge and I'm always up for that. So yeah, as long as it makes sense uh, and it's right for him to come back, then absolutely. If the opportunity arose to do another one, I think it would be absolutely fantastic. Um, especially the level of experience the Trash Hush have gained since. Um, the, the level of experience that Sam and Jackson have um, gathered with, you know, in terms of writing, um, in terms of you know, just experience in general of filmmaking. Um, and the equipment and stuff is 10 times better. So I think that ultimately it'd be a really great idea and you could make it 10 times better. Um, and if you do it as a sequel, obviously if you bring back in some of the uh, original characters, you can start to develop them and um, yeah, give them a little bit of an extra kind of layer on top of what we already built. So yeah, I probably would. It's kind of crazy, Drug Tours were made six years ago and although it took a long time to edit, it was such a quick energy rush from everyone and because I remember like some of the, some of the crew, because they'd been taking a lot of um, glucose instead of the cocaine and methadrone, they were hyped up and they couldn't sleep all night apparently, which is kind of funny. But um, yeah, because it was like six years ago, I really want to try and do some of the drug tours again in the future. I don't know how. Um, I've got ideas uh, brewing. But whether we do drug tours in 10 years time, drug tours too. Well, we have actually talked about drug tours sequel. Um, <clears throat> we've discussed it a few times with um, Tom and Jackson. and. In the future, you will see a Drug Tours too. When? Who knows? So six years on, that was what the cast and crew remember about the experience of filming the Drug Tours. Remember, you can catch the Drug Tours online on Versus Media or on YouTube. Thank you guys again for tuning into Trash Arts News. For daily updates, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you tomorrow.